fun show where I play through games and talk about the level design or what I think is going on with them. And uh, right now we are in Half-Life 2. I think we're kind of near kind of the end. I mean, not really. We're still maybe like 80, 85% of the way through. I don't know. Anyway, um, we're in a chapter called Anti-Citizen 1. Uh, we're about halfway through it, I think. Uh, let's see where we left off. It was this one. Um, so... Hey, everybody, follow Freeman. <laughs> um you got it see. so i think what do i have to do Let now what was going on so we were just in this section where um we fought a bunch of soldiers and then i made a bunch of friends look at all my new friends um they're always getting in the way kind of um and um i mean that's kind of a persistent annoying thing that's just going to keep happening throughout this chapter um, and that's because, well, we can talk about, uh, how Half-Life 2 does navigation. Here you can see all these lines right here. Uh, and these lines are kind of visualizing how NPCs in Half-Life 2- Oh, I have twins. That's weird. Um, really spooky. Uh, but anyway, uh, these lines visualize how navigation in Half-Life 2 works. Uh, and it uses kind of an old form of navigation that we don't really use in games anymore called a uh, node graph. And with this node graph, here you can see it's made of all these points connecting all these different things together. Um, and the NPCs basically navigate through the, via these uh, little points. That's how they see the world and visualize the world because you know, you can't teach an NPC like, oh, yeah, uh, this is a tunnel um, or this is a room or so on. You know, you can't you can't just like tell them that we have to simplify the world a lot. And one of the ways we do that is with something like this, a node graph. Um, this is basically the same system that Half-Life 1 uses. So it's really old. Um, Nowadays, if you were to play a modern game, we don't use node graphs anymore. I mean, maybe if you're rolling your own system, you might simplify it with a node graph. Uh, these days, we use something more called like a navigation mesh or a nav mesh, where instead of navigating from point to point, instead we visualize it, visualize it as like a whole space that you're like walking through. And basically, every video game uses nav mesh now. Um, they don't really use node graphs. Uh, node graphs, you can save a lot of memory and stuff, and it's a lot simpler to code yourself, but these days the state of the art is not this. And one of the reasons why you might not do it is because um, they're not understanding the world as a space. They're understanding the world as a series of all these points, and they can only move along these points, uh, which is kind of a huge problem. That's why they're always bottlenecking and bunching up in these corridors here. Uh, let's go, let's go here then. I think we're supposed to go here. Um, oh, I like this pipe here. I don't know why, it's just kind of a random detail here, but it adds like a little bit of color. Uh, I also like how, um, you know, this pipe has like really cool little details right here. I think like the mark of good level design, oh, they should have aligned this decal better. Here we can see the seam on that. Um, I think what I really like in a lot of environment art and uh, level design is when you have the details like really small. I think that's like the mark of like modern day like AAA stuff where instead of doing like chunky details and stuff, you do like really small minute details and then, but that's to punctuate these long boxy stretches of just kind of no detail. So you have no detail, no detail, and then boom, you just pierce my eyes with these beautiful little screws and little brackets everywhere. Um, and if you play like a lot of games, I think like Overwatch and stuff, um, that's what a lot of them do. Uh, let's go out here. Oh, it turned off my AI graph. Let me just turn that back on. Oh, what's going on here? Oh no! Head crabs.
Um, yeah, in the chat, people are mentioning that Source also has nav mesh functionality, and that's like relatively recent. I believe they added nav meshes more for like bots, like Counter Strike bots. Um, but then uh, for Left 4 Dead, they readapted their nav mesh stuff uh, to use for like Left 4 Dead and stuff. Uh, all the zombies in Left 4 Dead, for example. Can you imagine all the zombies in Left 4 Dead using this node graph system? They would like bunch up in hallways and stuff. It would just be really terrible. Uh, so the zombies in Left 4 Dead use the nav mesh system, which is much better for them. Um, what's going on here? This is kind of an interesting section because I like this section. You know, this is full of all the crunchiness that. I like in level design basically but then you go over here and it's um oh it's my my mouse is randomly changing my weapon that's weird um but then over here you see like they kind of just forgot about this section like here it's just a very flat boring silhouette against the skybox uh i kind of wish they like put some antenna or put some like chimneys there uh mixed up the silhouette a little bit um, but then again, they don't really want you to look over here. Sorry, they man. want you to look over here. They wanted you to look where you're supposed to go down that tunnel, and they wanted you to look at that head crab rocket. That's why they shot a head crab rocket from over here down to there to like draw your eyes more that to that direction. Although really, we weren't going to get lost, right? In this this room is pretty simple. We weren't ever really going to get lost here. Um. Let's also do turn on some more. I want to kind of show more about how the navigation system works. Are they doing any debugging? No. I think I have to do this thing too, where I select them. Okay, now it's showing me. So here you can see uh, one of the twins, not the evil twin, hopefully. Hopefully I picked the good twin. Uh, this good twin. Here you can see I've told the engine to visualize how he's walking around. Um, and this is kind of another big problem with a lot of games, especially like squad games, um, which is how do we get them to not keep like running into each other, right? We have a squad of four people. How do we get them to smoothly move through an area? And here you can see all these like green and red boxes represent all the different calculations uh, they're doing. Uh, in game development, we might call these like sweep tests or ray casts or line cast or line tests or traces or whatever. Either way, there's some idea where he's kind of trying to trace this trajectory where towards his destination. Let me get out of your way. <laughs> and when he's doing that, he's also trying to detect if there's any other obstacles, dynamic obstacles. Uh, like other dudes or uh, crates or whatever in front of him. And then here you can see sometimes that test fails, right? That's what that red uh, wireframe box represents. So then that steering data helps him know, oh, I shouldn't go here. I should triangulate a path around this obstacle that I've detected. Um, so navigation in video games, super hard problem that still isn't even really solved yet. I mean, everyone is using nav meshes and uh, steering stuff to try to figure it out, but it's still not really solving anything. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off because uh, people are complaining it's like killing the stream quality. So, uh, AI. Did that turn it off? Yeah, looks okay. Um, and I'll go ahead and turn off the... Uh, oops. AI show connect zero? Oh, I don't know how to turn it off. Oof. Okay, well, we'll just keep playing with this. Sorry. Oh, what's going on here? Freeman, if you were looking for a place to hole up, it's not safe here anymore. They're shelling the hell out of us. Keep moving, Dr. Freeman. I'll send word you're coming and see you up ahead. Sorry. Um, okay, yeah, I'll try to that. Uh, help. Show. Help AI show connect. 
Uh, that doesn't tell me how to turn this off, though. Uh, oh well. We'll just have to keep playing with this. Oh god. I wonder why they make me break through these boards. That's kind of weird. Level design-wise, why would you, like, want me to slow down? Oh well. Oh! Dudes I can shoot at. What's annoying about this is that these little bars, I have to like shoot between them. That's kind of an- I wish I could just kind of not worry about hitting the bars of this window grating. That's kind of annoying. I think most games would just turn off collision for this window grating like entirely. Uh, let me see if I can deselect him. I don't know what that did. Oh well, we'll just keep going. Take this med kit. Here, patch yourself it's in here. Oh, I like this kitchen. I always like when level designers take the time to like put in like the cabinets for kitchens. Um and like all these counters and stuff. Counters are just so good, I feel like. And, and you know, counters are just really useful um, for, it's it's a good excuse to have cover in a game for like a player to hide behind. Um, this is kind of a problem that uh, Gears of War has famously run into where they've like run out of different objects that are like counter height for you to like duck behind. Like there's only so many excuses, so many concrete blocks, so many like wood crates you can make um, and like reuse those things over and over for players to duck behind. Um, and I think the countertop would not be tiled. I mean, they probably should have left this as wood, but um, you know, they probably didn't have much time. Sorry. Some parts of Half-Life 2 again are like kind of um kind of amazingly sloppy sometimes, but you kinda cut them some slack because this is just one room in probably a really massive like city level, so I guess it doesn't matter, but I don't know. We can always nitpick. I like nitpicking on this stream. This is going on. Go through here. Oh. Why was he shooting? I guess they had an invisible bullseye right here. Um, oh god. Like one trick that Half-Life 2 does a lot is using gunfire to kind of draw your attention to stuff. Um, and often they will shoot at like fake things. I mean, did he shoot this guy? No, it looked like this ragdoll. This corpse was pre-placed because I can tell because he was he's still in this, you know, like T position, you know? with his arms out. I feel like he wouldn't have ragdolled like that if he was like an NPC. Oh, and the corpse disappears. Oh, that's weird. Sorry. Um, but to like make it seem like that uh, soldier was shooting at this guy right here, um, they will place invisible bullseyes right here. And these bullseyes are just invisible enemies that you can like command soldiers to shoot at or anyone to shoot at really. Oh, this carpet is hideous. I kind of love it, though. It reminds me of, like, a motel or something. Or Vegas? I was just in Vegas, like, a few months ago. This is totally, like, a Vegas motel kind of thing. Oh, God. The tile in here is really bad, too. This is just a really ugly bathroom. Um, where were we? Oh, and they copied and pasted this. Right here. Okay, let's uh, go down here. I think we have to go down here. Oh, supplies. Useful. This crouching couple is kind of in like every Half-Life 2 game. You might have we might have noticed them in the beginning of this game in like chapter one. If you play episode two, they're also there on the same couch. You know, reuse your animations. 
Players don't notice. Only like weirdos like me will notice. Where are my dudes? Shouldn't they be jumping down here? Oh, now they are. What? Who are you shooting at? Are there people up there? I can't even see. Oh, do I go in here? Oh. Okay. I don't really know where I'm supposed to go. Oh my god. Oh my god! I, why did I run into the grenade? Ugh. Now I'm gonna die. Where'd that medic go? Shouldn't they be healing me? Take this med kit. There we go. 69 health. Nice. I like it. And then we go in here. What is this accomplishing? I have no idea. Oh, he's in that little hole down there. Uh, oh, thank you. Maybe they're both good twins. They both healed me right when I needed it. That's nice. Oh, that's why I had to, like, run over here. Oh, what? Okay, come across. Oh, that's cool. They have, like, a little drawbridge. What's over here, though? Okay. Uh, sorry, Freeman. Oh my god, get out of my way! Come by. There. Uh, go in here? Just notice, like, how bare and boxy, like, all these places are. Um, that's because this is, like, a pretty large open environment. Like, it's just visual, like, we have to draw so much. We have to draw all the rooms in there, all the rooms in here, all the rooms in here. Like, there's no line of sight blockers, so to, like, maintain a good frame rate, you kind of have to just leave everything as boxy as it is. Do I go here? Oh my god, go, go over there. Oh, thanks. Do I go down here? No, this is the wrong way. Oh, right here. Okay. God, this is so confusing. And I just went down, but now I have to go back up? What are you doing? I'm just gonna send them in there. God, where am I? Oh my god! That was spooky. He was just waiting in this little monster closet here. So I think that's like one cool thing about this chapter. Like, there's con kind of this constant trajectory where we're going up and down and then through this hole and then through this floor. And it's just like really mixing up like our sense of direction or navigation. Like I have, I really have just no idea where I'm coming from or where's north or where's south or anything anymore. Um, and that kind of like creates like a cool motif. Like um, if you've read like readings about, um, if you've read like readings about um, like modern like street war guerrilla warfare or something like it is kind of characterized by this weird fighting where where you're trying to like ignore what walls are ignoring what ceilings and floors are um there's like a really good article about how the israeli defense force tried this doctrine where they they when they would like do city fighting they would always like break through walls and stuff and like create their own passageways because like the whole point was that walls and doors are kind of like these choke points 
And if you don't play by those rules, then you're like a better fighter or soldier or whatever. Um, oh, these mines. I better create these mines for them. What's going on? What am I... Take this med kit. Over here. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> this is just a mess. There's like head crabs, and then there's soldiers. Ow. And then. What is going on? Oh, thanks. Like, even the layout of this level is kind of this weird mess. And everyone's just shooting at you from all these different angles. I have no idea where the enemy is coming from. Like, it does feel like war or like whatever my stereotype of war is as someone who's never really experienced war. Take this med kit. Um, oh, where are all my friends go? Oh my god, one of the twins died. Oh, that's sad. I guess I'll marry this one then. Well, until he dies. Okay, let's go through here. Oh my god! Notice this very specific effect. I'm gonna send them over here. Um, where... When I'm over here... When I'm over here, the, do the doorway is like pitch black, dark. And then if you zoom in or walk towards it, suddenly it fades and then we can actually see through it. Um, and this is kind of a similar like level of detail optimization effect that we experienced on the coastline during like the road trip antline coastline section of the game where to like cut off visibility and close what we might call like vis portals or area portals uh we like do these thresholds where we stop rendering beyond certain thresholds or windows and then fade in as the player approaches the threshold or window or something Similar effect here, it's totally white if when I'm far away from the doorway, but then we can see through it as we approach it. Oh my god, I have no idea- oh, I don't have any ammo. I'm gonna stay and hold down this spot. Uh, let's get these supplies first. Like this counter, good counter. Uh, through here. Oh, more windows. Okay. It's in this closet. Nothing. Okay. Do I go through here? Oh, God. Uh, here. Oh no! You better reload. How embarrassing! Can't believe I caught one of those. Uh, what do I do? I think I go here. Oh my god! Oh, they'll shoot it for me. Thanks. Do I go up here? No. Uh, do I go down here? Isn't this where I just was? Oh wait, no, this was through the barricade. Okay. Oh no, and they're on fire too, God. This is war, you know, firing, shooting at zombies while they're on fire in all these concrete boxes. Oh, let's drop some grenades down there, maybe.
Reload, Dr. Freeman. And then, yeah, again, the level design here, just not super interesting. It's like a lot of cool level on level action where we're like constantly going up and down through ceilings. But like environment art wise, this is like a stereotypical like video game level, right? We have all these just concrete boxes with random flaming like pits everywhere and then rubble everywhere. Pretty standard video game fare. What's through here? Oh, ew. What? Why is that impaled on the morbid? Uh, oh! Supply cache, but how do I get through here? Do I have to like stack things? But there's nothing to stack. How am I supposed to get over to this other side? Do I like shoot it? Hmm. Well, that's kind of strange. Oh wait! I'm supposed to pull these. Oh! Look at how smart I am. Garbage is my friend. Well, garbage is my friend if I can stack this properly. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Okay, I take it back. Garbage is not my friend at all. This is not... Okay, there we go. Wait, but how do I get back out? Oh my god, I have to like... Oh my god. Uh, in the chat they're saying I should just pull the crates over the fence. Um, that probably would have been uh, smarter. But, you know, fortunately, you know, I can just no-clip through that and just pretend that I solved that puzzle in like a better way. Sorry. Uh, let's keep going. Again, we have to go upstairs, even though we just went downstairs and I just have no idea where I'm going. Totally lost. Oh, more supplies. Nice. What's going on here? Oh, what? Oh. I had a feeling I'd find you here. I've got Dr. Kleiner in a safe spot. Now we can join up with Barney. There's a command center downstairs. I'm hoping to find information about generator locations. Ready? Um, no, I'm not ready. No. No, I'm not ready. I just have to charge up. Come back. Oh, she heard me. Thank God. Thank goodness. Okay. The what do we have to do? Oh, she killed all these dudes. Nice. Uh oh, that looks that looks suspicious. This looks like there's gonna be a fight. You know, you just get a feeling when you see furniture arranged like that. It's very suspicious. Sorry, Freeman. Oh my god, they're everywhere! The Combine! The soldiers are here just kind of standing- they're kind of boring. I wish they were, like, moving more. Oh. Look at all these bathtubs. Weird. It kind of reminds me of, like... You know, you remember that- you remember, like, Lady Gaga? And remember, like, that Bad Romance music video? This is kind of what this reminds me of. All these like bathtubs. I think there's some scenes Sorry, Gordon. where she's like bathing in like cream or something in a bathtub. I don't remember.
Um, what else is going on? Yeah, this is just a weird room. There's like a bed frame in one corner. Weird stuff. Nice rug, you know, but weird decoration choices otherwise. Uh, where are we supposed to go? Go in here? No, there's a bathroom. Uh, right here? I guess I should heal up again. That's kind of weird sorry. though, like they just let me use all these chargers like two minutes ago. Oh, washing machines in the end of this hallway? That's weird. Uh, but then that's so random, like that could be like something you see in real life. I don't know. I remember I tried to do something like this in like Black Mesa Source, like I put this random bucket just like in the corner of a level or a random chair there, and then like people on the Black Mesa forums just gave me shit for like putting a bucket there. And I'm like, sometimes there's random buckets in places, sometimes there's random chairs in places. Um, but no, not plausible enough, I guess. Some bucket phobia, maybe. Okay, this is it. Oh. You take that door. I'll take this one. Ready when you are. Oh. Oh, like a fun little plan. Okay. Nice. Okay. Let's get everything prepared. What weapon should I use? I think I'll use this one. Okay, are you ready? Girl, are you ready? Okay, let's go. That didn't really, like, do it. I feel like we didn't really surprise them. I feel like that plan didn't really work. Oh, well. Well, we're in luck. There's a oh. generator in the square outside. We're trying to disable as many as we can to loosen the Combine's grip on this sector. It'll take me a few minutes to expose the core, then I'll need you to hit it with a burst from the gravity gun. In the meantime, watch my back. Sorry. Oh. When did we get a third dude? I don't remember that happening. But I feel sorry for anyone who put down a security deposit. <laughs> what? That did not make sense. That was like a weird dad joke or something. I don't even know what that was. We go through here? Does she open this door? Can't you bust this door open, Alex? Come on. Ugh. Okay. Uh, where am I supposed to go? Uh, do I go this way? Every room here just looks the same, so it's like really hard to know what's going on here. Um, I like these mailboxes here. That's kind of that's a neat detail. That's what that texture is. I never really knew what this texture was. Like, it's like, like, you know, when I would be like mapping with this texture, I'd always be like, okay, this is like a tiny door for like a head crab or like a cat or something. But they're mailboxes. That's they're like old fashioned mailboxes. Oh, that's weird. Okay. They're not cat doors. Um, what's going on here? Where? Hurry. Who? Okay. Oh, I should pick up. Oh, they were over here. I should drop these mines everywhere. What is she doing? Who's shooting at me? I don't even know where that's coming from. Oh, up here? Oh, up there. That's cute. Come on, everybody. Sure thing, Gordon. Okay, let's 
So this is like a defense situation, like we have to pull up up here. Except not much is happening. been kind of a trend. I think it's because I'm playing on easy, you know? Where, like, the AI's really timid. They're never really, like, coming at you. It always feels like it's supposed to be some kind of tough, like, defense situation, like last stand, but it never really feels like that. But I thought the only difference between easy and hard was, um, like, uh... Oh, that was a good grenade throw. I'm good. Um... Was different health values. I thought the AI didn't really behave differently. Oh, that didn't work. Did I get any of them with the bazooka? Oh, now they're putting on more of the heat. So interesting AI here, uh, I don't know how to visualize it, but the way the soldier AI works here is it's kind of like uh, Halo a little bit, where they kind of have a concept of territory and uh, like battle lines and stuff. Oh my god, why can't I hit any of them? Um, where you can see they're like running around and hiding behind cover and stuff. And they're doing that because a level designer set up stuff where they're specifically like lining up behind these this like pre-placed cover. Inner shields are coming down. Oh he died. Oh no, he was with me since the beginning. That's sad. I should heal. I feel like they, this reminds me of the terminal square a little bit. Oh. Okay, so now I have to knock this thing out. Oh, now the door's open. Oh my god, and there's so many of them. Nice. Barney should be on the far side of that canal. Well, there used to be a bridge here. Oh my god, all my friends died. She doesn't even care. Ah, wait for me here. What? Ah, oh, that's weird. That's like a skybox model they just threw in there. Oh, we're supposed to be watching this. <laughs> So this is what games do all the time, right? They like invest in like weird animation where you're like climbing on stuff. Like someone had to like do all this and then design the level specifically for this geometry. And then to like justify this investment, you basically have to like 
add a parkour system into your game, or Looks have like Alex constantly climbing there. things. Oh no! Oh god! Oh, they got her! Well, none of this is going to plan, it seems. Uh, we run in here? I think we run in here. And then we go back into the sewer. Oh man, I need health. Back in the sewer, revisiting all the sewer level stuff we were doing. Again, I like the sewers in Half-Life 2 for some reason. I don't really know why. Like, it's just a mixture of like... The texture choice is really interesting. Like, like every surface is pretty interesting. Oh, and look, they even like messed up this edge of the wall right here. That's kind of a neat touch. Um, interesting colors too. I don't know. Like, as far as sewer levels go, I like Half-Life 2's sewers for some reason. I'll, like, totally apologize for them. Uh, oh, we have to break through here. Uh-oh. Oh, what's this? Is this, like, a puzzle? Why would I... Oh god. Oh, I have to bring this down. Because there's a fence right here. So to climb to the other side, I have to walk on these pipes. Um, before we go into that though, I really like the lighting here. Like, this is just really gorgeous. You know, this is like something out of like like abandoned places photography or like ruin porn or something where um, you just get really nice quality of light coming through this window um, like sun drenched you know and then it's just casting like it's just kind of splashing everywhere one light source is just lighting this entire section producing these really nice shadows and even though it's kind of like low resolution shadows, it still has like a nice soft quality to them, actually. This whole place just feels really soft, I guess. Um, and what helps make it feel soft are like the soft shadows, like very blurry, wide penumbra. Um, almost like the low resolution light map actually helps here. Um, and what also helps here is these bevels on these pillars right here. These beveled pillars also help kind of soften a lot of the lighting here um but yeah i don't know i feel like it looks really nice and you just get a nice mixture of all these like subtle different colors brown right here blue right here splashes of red and orange right here this wall is kind of blue and green um with these like weeds here um just like good mixture of all these different like textures. I would say this is like Half-Life 2, it kind of it's like best. Where it's really showcasing. It holds up pretty well, I think. And then these arches. I just fucking love arches in games. You should know that by now if you've been watching this stream. Uh, what makes a little bit less sense is all these like random boxes. Like who thought we should stack all these boxes on this really flimsy shelf here. Like, it doesn't really make sense, the logic of that. Oh, and here's another box. You know, people just put boxes up on pipes in sewers all the time, you know. This is just my cardboard box sewer. Which I naturally just do. Yeah, that makes complete sense. Go in here. Good vent right here. I like all the little pipe work here. Little bit of pizzazz.
Uh oh, they're coming for me. And I need health too. Where's the health? At? Jeez. Maybe there's some health down here. Any health? No, just like a dead person. Oh no, here's some health. Nice. Where did those man hacks come from? That's weird. Like this door is shut. Huh. Oh yeah, I like that skylight. That's nice. Good amount of graffiti too, like not overdoing it. Um, you know, that's like an okay amount of graffiti. The right amount, maybe. Uh, let's, uh, maybe go in here now? Oh god. Oh jeez. Uh, I think we go down here. I like this. This is an interesting set piece. Actually, this is like a really well constructed room. Like, like you have like a like a very specific idea here. This idea that it's like all these like catwalks and corridors like looking over each other. Um, you know, this room is like kind of about something. Uh, in architecture, you might call this like party, where um, this room actually has like. A main idea, like a main form to it. And we're constantly kind of like circling around and around in a drain. Also, yeah, this is this is a pretty nice well lit scene too, right? Like, you know, if you squint, like this could be a photograph, right? Um, nice use of bloom. Very, like, careful, constrained use of it, too, by the way. Um, yeah, this is probably just, probably one of the best rooms in Half-Life 2, even though it's kind of con conceptually boring in the sense that this is just a concrete brick room with pipes. Like, the colors are kind of unusual for Half-Life 2. Like, almost kind of like a mint, kind of aqua feel to it. Nice color tones. Nice gliding. Oh god. I don't have any ammo in here. What's also interesting here is that these pipes act as cover too. That's like a very unusual way to do cover for a video game. Um, but I like it. That's smart. Any supplies here? No, just a cardboard box. Oh! What's down there? Oh, I should drop down there. Get some more health. How do I drop down there, though? Uh, oh, do I just do the old trick from before? Oh, wait, no, there's a whole pipe thing. Maybe I can jump down to those pipes? Maybe I can just pick it up with my gravity gun. I'll learn from before. What's going on here? What? Okay. Oh. Oh my god. That was close. Um, oh, there's a steel bar on the other side. So, can I do this through a window? Oh. Isn't this a glass window, though? Huh. Um. Hmm. Oh, well. Oh, wait, no, maybe it's not a glass window. I thought it was glass. Down here. Oh, oops.
Oh, a lot of zombies down there. Oh, and they can fight each other. Oh my god, and just got pulled by a barnacle. Oh my god, it's so cool. Oh, ow. Oh, that's gruesome. Maybe I should have helped him out more. That's sad. Oh well. Uh, actually, I think I'm gonna maybe like take a break and stop here. Um, I thought we were gonna be like halfway through this chapter, but I guess we weren't. Uh, my bad, sorry. Um, but anyway, um, tune in next week. Uh, next week we will keep going through these sewers. I don't know how long the sewer section lasts. Uh, do some more street fighting in, in the streets and the city and ruined buildings and stuff. Um, I guess this is a long chapter. I don't know. Uh, anyway, thanks for tuning in. Hope you learned something or whatever. Um, and see you next week. Bye.